This is a circumstantial case that for the state depends on the positive identification of the defendant on surveillance video, not by an eyewitness, but rather by the girlfriend of the victim who also happened to be the ex mistress of the man charged with killing him. Uh, well, it's it's getting emotional because it's like dreading it all up over again. John Hickey's mother back in the fourth floor courtroom on Friday as the state called its star witness back to the stand. Jennifer McKay was volunteer firefighter John Hickey's girlfriend at the time of his death in November 2017. They started dating shortly after she ended a five year long affair with the married father of two standing trial for Hickey's murder. Prosecutors say former Prince George's County firefighter Daniel Green broke into Hickey's East Pratt Street apartment around 2 a.m. November 29th and shot Hickey once in the forehead at close range as he slept on his couch. On December 4th, 2017, detectives showed surveillance footage of the suspect to Ms. McKay, and today the jury watched that recorded police interview. A detective asked McKay, does it look like anyone? McKay answers, it looks like Dan. Why does it look like Dan? The beard? Anything else? The build, she says. It looks like his stature. She is uncertain, though, and she says so. Doesn't recognize the jacket, says the face looks too skinny. I see it, but I don't see it, if that makes any sense. Here, it looks like him, but here, it doesn't look like him. That's the same guy, the detective says. I know. And a few minutes later, she says, this looks like him. I can't deny that. I mean, it was pretty cut and dry. You heard it too. Does it look like anybody? Yes, it looks like Dan was the first thing out of her mouth off the video. The defense tried to rip that ID to shreds during cross-examination. When police first showed you the video, Warren Brown asked McKay, you had problems with his nose. You said his face is skinny. You had problems with the height and the weight and the hair and the facial hair. Is that correct? Yes, McKay answered, but she wasn't having it. Telling Brown through tears, you can berate me all you want. It's Dan in the video. Court is closed for the holiday Monday, so testimony in this trial resumes on Tuesday morning. Outside the Mitchell Courthouse, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.